Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be reviewing the other plate that was very kindly sent to me from Born Pretty for review. Um, so in case you missed it, this was the plate that I reviewed the other day. So it's this gorgeous paisley um, girl pattern. So I'll leave links to that sort of in the description box if you want to go and check the, my review out of that plate. Um, so this is the plate that I'm going to be reviewing today and I and it's so gorgeous and I know like Nona Philippa has reviewed it and I've seen sort of Mimi 35C she's done to some designs on using this plate also which you can check out on her Instagram page as well. So as always you need to remove the clear protective film that comes with pretty much all stamping plates nowadays. So I'm just using like a metal cuticle pusher just to get that in there, saves picking up my fingers and things like that. Okay, and as I showed you in the other video, this is how I clean the plates before I use them. So I just get some nail polish remover and this is basically a cotton claw. You get this grip that comes out, takes hold of the cotton wool pad and keeps it there in place so you don't get acetone all over your fingers and things like that. So these are my base colours for the swatches today and they are so gorgeous and very, very apt for spring, which is hopefully just around the corner. And they are my Melody Susie Sweet Reverie Collection gel polishes. They're one step and I have done a full review and swatches on these on my channel also. So I'll leave links to that in case you haven't checked them out. And I did apply a Madame Glam gel matte top coat and this is the best gel top coat I've used. It's amazing. And I'm using the Born Pretty Clear Jelly Stamper. So getting into the swatches, I've been so desperate to swatch this plate. It sort of came sort of like halfway through my challenge and obviously I was doing my challenge and I couldn't use it because I wanted to do a review of an it, review on it first. So I'm so pleased to be swatching it as I say because I've seen so many gorgeous designs uh, achieved by using this plate also. Isn't that just gorgeous? So obviously this isn't all one image, but I've just sort of added it on so you get to see these sort of lacy images on it also. So I'm just gonna do that one again. I think it's down to the polish. This polish sort of only likes, I think it tends to prefer Born Pretty polish <laughs> in the white anyway, for some weird reason. That has picked up that absolutely fine. And I sort of love these, sort of this section of the plate here. And just, it again, has picked up, been picked up so good, like so well. Can't get my words out. Oh, I really like that. I know it's simple, but it's a really cool image. And these images very much tend um, sort of sorry, lend to sort of advanced stamping designs and lead lighting designs or filling in with Sharpies. I mean, just how gorgeous is that design right there? It's so pretty. And I love this little dress one as well. It's so cute. And I really like this plate because I'm not normally a, a fan of these sort of sort of sewing type plates but this one had so many gorgeous images on it and some real cute images so I just had to review it and have it as part of my stamping collection my ever increasing stamping collection <laughs> and that's a, like a gorgeous could be used like a plate design and isn't this image so cute with the little buttons on it and like I say, you could just fill all these in with different colours. Um, and it's just, they're just so gorgeous. And it, they look really nice on these sort of plain backgrounds as well. So as you can see, I'm not having any issue with pickup. It picks it all up really, really well and stamps it nice and crisp and clear. And bearing in mind that this plate is only, well, it's on sale, but it was... Um, $2.59 so a plate of this quality that is excellent value for money and that image is so gorgeous so yeah so yeah I'm really impressed well I've always been really impressed with Born Pretty um, 
I know some of you, sort of when I do reviews on their items, you sort of say, I'm never going to shop with Born Pretty again. I've got this and this order's wrong and they didn't get in touch with me. And you know, for me, I've never had that. Even when I've purchased from my own, you know, I've purchased products from them as opposed to getting products that I've sent for review. Obviously, you do sometimes have to wait a fair bit of time for it to arrive. Like, I know sometimes it can take literally a couple of weeks to come to me and then other times it can take a couple of months. So I'm not 100% sure why that is. Um, but yeah, but I've always been impressed with their products you know very rarely do i receive something that's just rubbish um so yeah so i thought i'd just mention that because um you know i don't want you to think that i sort of would recommend a company or a product that um are not very good or you know you're just not going to get very good customer service because i've not had an issue with it and like i say it's not just because they're sending me products for review because i had that same customer service when i purchased things from my own money as well so i thought with this one you could almost make it look like a lacy bodice um you could even add more lace sort of down the side of it if you wanted to hopefully you can get where i was going with that so here are my swatches all cleaned up and I just, oh these are just so gorgeous and they stand out really well as well on the nail and I just can't wait to do some designs with this plate, it is fabulous. So I really hope that you like it Jelly Babes, I hope you've enjoyed watching my review and that you like my swatches and big thank you to Born Pretty as always for sending me out these products, I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm.